Welcome to another quick video in which we're going to deconstruct the screen redraw of PowerDrift on the Atari ST. This is an interesting game to look at because it makes use of the Blitter chip where available. Let's get started. There's some interesting activity going on here. It looks like the back buffer is being used as temporary storage to calculate something. These artifacts are visible under emulation at times, although I imagine they're not visible on real hardware. We've got the clouds being rendered at the top of the screen. It looks like they're using a single bit plane for speed. Next come the background mountains. You'll see that they're being rendered by the blitter in four passes, one for each bit plane. This very much mirrors what we did for Lotus STE. It's also interesting to see the ground below the horizon start to be rendered during the final pass of the mountains rendering. I'd be curious to know how that's being done and what benefit it brings. Now that the ground is rendered, we can see the start line being rendered in the distance at the left of the screen. One of the clever things about Power Drift is that the game exists in a fully 3D world, rather than the 2.5D world that you might see in something like Lotus. The best way to experience this 3D world is to look at the start of the race, where the camera flies over the circuit before landing at the start line. Interestingly, it looks like there are two different rendering methods in use to draw these pillars. The ones further away, being drawn in one go, are probably being drawn by the CPU, whereas the ones closer to the camera being rendered in several passes, in a similar way to the background mountains, are almost certainly being drawn by the blitter. I'm guessing that the game has some logic to determine whether it would be faster to draw a given sprite using either the CPU or the blitter. We can also see the road being drawn using these long horizontal spans with a left and right cap on each one. You'll see that everything is being drawn in an order that reflects its distance from the camera. This ensures that any objects that overlap each other do so in the correct fashion. Nice touch there with the shadow beneath the player's car. That's all for now, please like, subscribe and leave comments if you enjoy this type of content.